so <laughs> he wants to come on my lap. You want to come on mommy's lap? Come on. <laughs> Ooh, look at my kitchen table. Hi, welcome to Fiber Love Diary. I'm Trish, if we haven't met, and if we have met, welcome back. I'm glad to see you. You're probably a subscriber, and I appreciate you, and I really mean that. I actually really appreciate you guys. Today, I'm getting ready to warp my loom. It is right there behind me, and I am about to strap my warping bar down to the island. I'm going to weave some buffalo plaid. So, well, it's I'm going to weave some buffalo plaid-ish. Real buffalo plaid would be twill. I don't have the right um, heddles and stuff to do twill on my rigid heddle loom, at least not with worsted weight yarn. I probably do with something finer, but I really want it to be like a heavy thing because I want to make some pillows out of it for my kitchen couch. You don't have a kitchen couch? Normal people don't, just so you know. It's really a trial run because what I want to do I was at the fabric store with my husband trying to find some like charcoal and cream buffalo plaid and I did find some but it really wasn't the right material. I want to do some pillows for Christmas time for my living room. We're getting a new couch. I'm really getting excited. I've been looking for a new couch for so many years and finally we pulled the trigger. I want to cozy up my living room for the holidays. We can't really have company right now and we just canceled our Thanksgiving. So I still decorated for Halloween and all those decorations have really made me happy even though we can't have people over right now. So I thought I'm going to take this time to like really cozy up the living room for the holidays this year. I've been sort of adding a little bit each year since we moved but I'm going to like really make an effort and I want to weave some buffalo plaid in colors that match for that room. So that was a super long winded way of telling you that I'm about to weave. I'm going to warp with my, I think it's my 7.5. I'll give you the specs all at the end um, because I haven't a thousand percent decided. You know how I am. So I'll give you the specs all at the end and show you the finished material. This fabric was inspired because I went to Hobby Lobby with a friend of mine. We were just like browsing all the Christmas stuff. They had a whole section of buffalo plaid and I bought these cute salt and pepper shakers. And I thought, okay, now I need a few things to go with. So I'm going to be weaving. So let's do it. Okay, so I'm fully warped. My battery ran out while I was warping this. It is 156 ends because I wanted a red square on both ends and each square will be 12 ends wide, if that makes sense. Also, while I was warping, let me see if I can find it. Okay, so there was one ply of this red yarn that was split or separated or whatever so instead of felting it like you guys taught me I put Elmer's school glue on it it's not dry yet obviously but we're going to take one of our kids to dinner so I can leave it to dry try not to let it touch any other strings I'm gonna leave it to dry until tomorrow morning I wouldn't normally leave my loom out overnight but I kind of feel like I have to Maybe when we get home, I can take care of it. But anyways, I'm pretty excited. I think this is going to be a really quick and easy weave. I know somebody's going to ask me, it is 
9 feet. From the back beam to the warping bar. So let's see how much material I get. I think it's going to have very little waste.
Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so I got this big piece. It's big. A buffalo plaid. I know you can see through it a little bit. That's only because there's light though. And my plan is to make some pillows that have like a fur piping. Next week, if you come back, you'll see me put them together. The truth is, I know just enough to be dangerous when it comes to this. <laughs> so I guess you might be seeing me struggle through because, you know, that might be what's happening, but I'm gonna do it. I really wanted to take this opportunity to tell you guys how thankful I am for you. Um, yesterday was Thanksgiving in the United States. My dad and stepmother are coming, so that's it. We're not having a big family gathering this year. Um, but like my whole life has changed in the past few years and a lot of it is due to this channel and you guys. So you guys have kept me going even when I wanted to quit sometimes. You have a lot of great things to say and I appreciate you. I'm sure that some of you refrain from direct messaging me because you think, oh, you know, she's busy. She's not going to care. Every time you guys send me something that you were inspired to try out every time you say I'm getting my first wheel because I'm so you know you inspired me I got a loom I feel like I can do it now that's everything to me because I really want you guys to feel like you can do it because you can you totally can everybody who is doing it right now and who you look at and think is some kind of expert was in your place at one time so if you want to do it you can do so every time you guys send me something, I'm like, yes. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys will join me next week while I put these pillows together. I think they're going to be amazing. And you know, I don't really like to sew, so it might also be hilarious. I honestly don't know yet because as you can see, they're not done. They're not done. But I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving if you're in the U.S. And if you're not, have a wonderful weekend. And thanks for coming back to see me. Thanks. I love you. Bye.